Hey guys, um, this is Snowlepper 2008 Jack here, and uh, this is going to be a tu uh, tutorial on how to make Adobe CS4 icon in Photoshop. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a, um, a Photoshop icon in Photoshop, uh, and the finished product will look, oops, like, uh, look like this. This is what it will look like in the end, and uh, so yeah, let's get started. Now, I know this has been done many times, but I just want to do it again uh, for those of you that need clear instructions or whatever. Um, so we want to, what you want to do is go to File New, name it CS4, um, make it, make, set everything to pixels, and make everything 100 by 100 pixels resolution, everything else just leave it the same. Click OK. Now you're going to get this white box. Uh, change your gradient tool to your photo bucket tool by holding down here and then selecting and then go to uh, this black box, type in uh, 2F64A8 as a color code, the hash. And um, this is for Photoshop, the, it's kind of blue, but you can also get like InDesign, Illustrator, Flash, and other icons. Uh, make it blue. And then what you want to do ne next is uh, get a new layer. Oops. Make a new layer. Make a new layer. Sorry, my mouse is too fast. New layer, um, call layer one. Leave everything else the same. Just make the mode overlay, and if you want, just make things simpler. Use that. Um, this gray color. If you don't choose to use this, it's the same thing. Just use the hash code here um, and fill it in with eight zero eight zero eight zero as the as a hash code for the color. And now you have this neutral gray. As you can see, you can't really tell a difference between the the, the color didn't change. And that's supposed to happen because it's uh, it's a neutral gray, so it won't do anything to the color. Now what we want to do is morph, is manipulate this grayish color and overlay it on top of the background to get your um, like lighting effect on the CS4 icon. Uh, an example of this, uh, see this kind of like lighting effect here. What you want to do is emulate that using um, using uh, in the filter. Render, make sure you have layer one selected by the way, and go to lighting effects. And from there, just manipulate these little, um, I manipulate it a little bit. And, uh, oops, I should reverse this. And, uh, what do you want to do? Some, have something like this. Something like this. Maybe a little bit um, less white at the top, so. You can just play around with it. You don't have to go with what you had the first time. I'm going with this. This, is, this looks like a nice combination. So click OK. Now you have this, uh, this kind of, because you morphed the, the gray layer. So the gray layer is now partially um, a gradient. It's, it's, there's like whites, a little bit more wider here and a little bit grayer down there. So kind of, so the first layer filters upon, upon the top layer or the bottom layer, which is the background layer, which is still unchanged. So what you want to do now is make the text. Uh, go to text tool, click anywhere. Oops. Uh, okay, type in P, capital P and lowercase s. It's really small because you can't see because it's 12, size 12 font. Make it Myriad Pro. Um, Bold, make it bold, and make it 70, size 72, which is the biggest you can make it. And then now you want to, what you want to do is you want to go to the, select it. Oh, wait, you have to change the color. Can't forget to do that. Uh, select the text, go to here, and make the color um, in this hash, make it 28201D. Um, again, I'll have these annotations on the video or, or I'll edit the video after so it's, um, you don't have to go scrambling and see what's on my screen. But I think you can see it because I'm cloning in HD. So it's 28201D and it's going to be this kind of blackish, brownish, or not brownish, but blackish, brownish, really black color. I don't know what you call it. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do that. Oops, you don't want to make it bold. Semi-bold? Semi bold looks good. Okay, so um, yeah, semi bold. And then now you want to do is align it. So go back here and click it and pre uh, press con Command All, Command A for all. And then go here and select this one, which is uh, 
yeah, which is line in the middle horizontally and then line vertically. There you go. This then then the the letters is now perfectly uh, lined within the whole thing. So then what you want to do is give the text uh, like a, uh, some subtle layer effects to the text. And what you want to do is uh, right click the oops, right click the text layer and go to bending options. Uh, getting inner shadow and bevel and emboss. Inner shadow make this one hundred eight degrees, and make this fifty three for opacity. You can also drag the sliders, but I think this is more precise. And then what you want to do is, uh, in the bevel and boss, um, you want to make the depth 1. Uh, this is 1. This is 1. Size and soften are both 1. Um, 108 degrees here, 32 degrees here. Sorry, I'm reading from this online tutorial to give me the exact values here. Um, opacity, make it... 18 and I'll paste it down here make it oops 8 so once you have all that um, press ok and there you go you have this a very close uh, reconstruction of the Photoshop icon um, I'm not sure how to make the 512 version because you have more pixels and therefore your text needs to be bigger and I don't think Photoshop supports text bigger than 72 size 72 so you might have to make it 72 um, Make it drag, uh, show the transform tools, and drag the um, drag the text so it's a little bit bigger. And then uh, now you want what you want to do is kind of save it. Um, I, I already have a copy over here. I have copies of it. I think this one looks better, so I'm gonna save it in CS4.psd, and I'm gonna save another copy um, as a PNG. So I can use it. Uh, you can use these icons for pretty much anything, like buddy icons, avatars. You can you make them a little bigger. Add the lighting effects. Add some text, and you have your own um, make. Yeah, you have your own iPhone uh, wallpaper. You can do it for a lot of things. It's it's a great tool. And the color, like the background of it, it look it just looks really nice. A really nice lighting effect, and it looks great almost in, in any occasion. I'm gonna save it, and uh, that's it. So I'm done. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll have more videos for you guys up soon. Uh, please also enter in my um, in my giveaway for two apps. Uh, you can only enter for one. Please just write, uh, just follow, just watch the videos for more information. Also follow me on Twitter. I am twittercom slash snowleopard 2008 and on Facebook, the Snow Leopard one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching the video, and I hope you all have a very nice day.